Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to snap the points of the spline meshes to the ground. I'm going to show two ways to do this. One is like this. The points stay up here, but everything will snap to the ground. The only problem with this is if you move it, it's uh, pretty laggy. Not great on performance, but the other way to do this is a lot simpler. And also the actual points are snapping to the ground. Both of these solutions are using the same code, pretty much same code. So we are going to start with this one. And we are going to copy most of it to this one. And I'm going to show you both of these. First of all, go to your spline blueprint and here we are going to need two boolean variables. Call one of them refresh and uh, set it instance editable. The other one will be moved to ground and it will be also instance editable but also exposed on spawn. Set it up like this, so whenever you uh, click refresh it's going to refresh, but also set it back to uh, false. There is not much reason to do so, it just looks better in my opinion. You can also just delete this and use it like this. For the other one, we want a branch and create a function. You can do it here. And inside the function, we want to grab our spline, the spline component get the number of points and uh, subtract one. So we're gonna go through all of their indexes and we also set the indexes here in a local variable. After this we want to create a line trace by channel and I did set up visibility for it. We are grabbing the spline and uh, the index from here and we want to get the location at the spline point and uh, add something large to it, so we will trace from high above it. And we want to end the trace under it, so subtract a large amount again. If we are hitting something, then we want to save the location of the hit. We also want to check if we are at the first uh, index, so zero. If we are not, then we are just going to move this spline point like this. In case of the first index, we do not want to move the spline point itself, we want to move the actor. So whenever we grab the actor, it will grab it at the first index. Now for the second method, we want to grab this entire code. Copy it. Create a new blueprint. Blueprint class, no, wait, Editor Utility, Editor Utility Blueprint, and uh, Actor Action Utility is what we need, I already have one prepared. Create a new function and uh, call it Spline to Ground or whatever you would like. Copy in our code. This is the same as this here. So the only thing we need to set up here is that from the start of the function we want to get selected actors. And on a for each loop set each of them here and also get a component by class and we are looking for the spline component. Then for each spline component we want to look through this and also set this spline here. I could also call this spline component. And everything goes just like before. This spline component is the same as this spline here. To use this, you simply 
have to right click on an actor scripted actor actions and search for the one you just created and it's going to do its job the refresh is needed because uh, as you can see it's not refreshing by itself just click this and it's done the first part of this setup was needed so we can set uh, multiple of these at once so let's put two in here let's select both of them right click and both are done at the same time if anything is underground you can just add more spline points oops do this again and it's already better if you are interested in making the spline meshes themselves then feel free to tell me in the comments i didn't really see a reason to make a video about them as there are many anyways i hope this video was helpful for you if you want to see more don't forget to like and subscribe have a good day bye